The mainstay of the Chinese Air Force Strategic Bomber Force is the Xi'an H6K, which represents the continuous modernization of the very old but still reliable H6 airframe. The naval version, the H6J, created in 2018, is the primary long-range naval bomber of the PLA Navy. More recently, the PLAN has revealed a new variant of the H-6 naval bomber, called the H-6N, designed to carry air-launched anti-ship ballistic missile. Most recently, the H-6N was filmed carrying around a new ballistic missile, which some Western articles speculated to be the YJ-21. Although we don't really know if this weapon is actually related to the ship-launched YJ-21. Let's talk about the history of the H-6 bomber briefly. In the early 1950s, the Soviet Union was committed to matching the United States in terms of strategic bombing capability, and sought to develop a long-range strategic bomber powered by turbojets. This effort culminated in the Tupolev Tu-16 heavy bomber, which received the NATO reporting name the Badger. While the Tu-16 began as a high-altitude bomber using unguided bombs, it was quickly modified to carry Soviet cruise missiles. In the late 1950s, China acquired a few Tu-16 bombers from the Soviet Union. Later, this aircraft was licensed produced in China as the Xi'an H-6, entering service sometime in the early 1960s. The original H-6 was a conventional bomber, but quickly received a nuclear capability. The H-6 can carry 9,000 kilograms of payload, including various ground attack and anti-ship cruise missiles, or freefall bombs. The initial version of the H-6 was armed with 23mm cannons for self-defense. There are two cannons in the remote-controlled dorsal turret, or the top turret, two in the remote ventral turret, two more in the manned tail turret, and a single cannon in the nose. Later models have some or most of the cannons removed. Since the 1960s, the H-6 has been continuously modernized with new weapons, engines, radars, navigation systems, and countermeasures. The Chinese Air Force also acquired an aerial refueling tanker based off the H-6. So while the basic H-6 airframe is very old, it has proven capable of accommodating new technology as they become available. The H-6K strategic bomber and the H-6J naval bomber are fairly new variants of this bomber family. The H-6K made its first flight in 2007 and entered service a few years later, possibly in 2009. The H-6J is the naval version acquired by the PLAN around 2018. The H-6K has the Soviets-designed D-30KP-2 turbofan engines and enlarged air inlets compared to the basic H-6. By using a greater proportion of composite material, for example titanium alloys, the weight is reduced while the structure is strengthened. The H-6K has a glass cockpit with large LCD multifunction displays. The nose has been redesigned, now housing a modern surface search radar instead of the navigation cabin on the original H-6. Behind the radar, there is a forward-looking infrared turret. An electro-optical targeting system is fitted under the nose. The previous 23mm twin gun turrets were removed from the dorsal, ventral, and tail positions and radams were installed in their place. These probably house the electronic warfare system located in the tail and advanced communication systems in the dorsal and ventral positions. The H-6K has an internal bomb bay, which can obviously carry weapons, but reportedly it can also carry additional fuel if required. 
The missiles and bombs are mounted on the wing pylons. The crew number has been reduced, although I don't know what the exact number is. Possibly two to three, judging by footages. All crew members have the HTY-6F ejection seat. By the way, if you enjoyed our video so far, please press the like button. Two Russian-designed D-30 KP-2 engines provide 30% more thrust and 28% less fuel consumption than the WP-8 engine on the original H-6. This means a greater weapon payload, range, and combat radius. China is reportedly developing a domestic engine for the H-6K called the WS-18, although there is no indication of new domestic engines for the H-6 as of yet. The current power plant provides a combat radius of 3,500 kilometers, according to most sources. This is more than capable of conducting attacks on the second island chain, including Guam Island, especially if one considers the long range of the cruise missiles carried on the aircraft and its capability for aerial refueling. The H-6K has six underwing pylons or external hardpoints carrying six CJ-10K cruise missiles, which has a range of 2,000 kilometers and a circular error probability of 10 meters. The CJ-10K can carry a 500 kilogram conventional or nuclear warhead. This gives the People's Liberation Army Air Force a long-range offensive standoff capability with precision-guided munitions or a tactical nuclear capability. The anti-ship version of the missile, the YJ-100, has a range of 800 kilometers, although the bomber will require a friendly spotter closer to the target or some sort of long-range reconnaissance capability to find and track the target. In 2019, China tested a large-yield bomb, reportedly comparable to the American mother of all bombs, and the country's most powerful non-nuclear weapon. The H-6K can drop this bomb. The weapon takes up the whole of the internal bomb bay, making it roughly 5 to 6 meters long and weighing 10 tons. The Chinese weapon is reportedly usable against reinforced buildings and bomb shelters. The H-6J naval bomber has eight underwing pylons, or external hardpoints, two more than the H-6K. Normally, the H-6J would be armed with a combination of six anti-ship cruise missiles, including the YJ-83K and the YJ-12, as well as two external pods for electronic countermeasures. The YJ-83K is a high subsonic anti-ship missile, and the latest version of this weapon has an infrared imaging seeker and a range of 230 kilometers. The YJ-12 has a maximum speed of Mach 4 and a range of 400 kilometers when launched from the air. Finally, the two electronic countermeasure pods improve the survivability of the H-6J, and there are credible sources indicating that the H-6K are being modified to have these electronic warfare pods as well. Finally, both the H-6K and the H-6J can carry unguided freefall bombs inside the internal bomb bay. One other variant recently commissioned into service is the H-6N, with a reshaped fuselage in place of the bomb bay to mount an air-launched ballistic missile using centerline hardpoint mountings. The H-6N was first seen in October 2020, carrying what appears to be a ballistic missile fitted with a hypersonic glide vehicle. In April 2022, the H-6N was seen carrying another huge missile in the center line, which bears resemblance to the YJ-21, but it is unclear what the weapon is exactly. The inclusion of anti-ship ballistic missiles provides the H-6N with greater lethality against surface naval targets, and almost certainly a greater reach 
compared to the H-6J. In addition to the ballistic missile, the H-6N still has underwing pylons and should be able to mount cruise missiles as well, depending on the weight of the overall payload. China possesses altogether just under 300 H-6 aircraft of various types. The H-6 offers China a power projection capability in the Western Pacific and to support and augment the firepower of naval forces. The H-6K has the combat radius and the necessary weapons to strike targets, including Guam and the entire Japan. The long range of the air-to-ground weapons means that the H-6K can launch their weapons outside the range of ground-based air defense systems. This increases the survivability of the aircraft, despite its non-stealthy design. The H-6J, the naval bomber, represents more of a supporting firepower for Chinese naval forces helping to augment the number of projectiles fired towards the enemy. A single regiment of 18 H-6J bombers has over 100 cruise missiles, which can be launched very quickly and overwhelm the missile defense capability of small numbers of destroyers. However, if deployed alone against an aircraft carrier battle group, it would be vulnerable to the combat air patrol by opposing carrier fighters. So ideally, the naval bombers should have the protection of friendly air defense destroyers and fighter escorts. The H-6 bombers are frequently deployed in the Western Pacific to maintain hard power in certain disputed territories to demonstrate Beijing's air power and to make a show of force against unfriendly countries. According to video footages by the Chinese media and foreign intelligence, the H-6 regularly deploys to the South China Sea, where it is based on the airfields of the Chinese-controlled islands, as well as the Hainan Island. The H-6 also often flies very close to the island of Taiwan, which China considers a breakaway province and part of its own territory. The Chinese Air Force and Navy has frequently sent the H-6 across the Miyako Strait, which lies between Miyako and Okinawa, and is the main pathway for Chinese naval forces to enter the Pacific Ocean. The Chinese H-6, together with Russian strategic bombers, conducted joint nuclear bomber exercise in the Sea of Japan in 2019, 2020, 2021, and May 2022. They remained inside international airspace and did not enter Japanese territory, although this did not stop the Japanese government from calling the move provocative. All told, the H-6 bomber has been continuously modernized over its long history and remains the main tool for projecting air power over the Western Pacific, at least until China completes the development of the very low visibility H-20 strategic bomber. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please also consider sharing the video so it can get across to a wider audience.